Hey everyone, Kevin here. So I thought I had a really good setup for one of our bird feeding stations. Uh, made me a little frame to where I can hang two soot blocks off of the uh, regular feeder that we put our sunflower seed in. And I made it to where the squirrels and raccoons shouldn't be able to get to it, but unfortunately I was wrong. So it looks a little lopsided. And there's the other half that would have made it even. So the coon was able to get, actually what happened, the coon was able to get a hold of the soot block and tear it off my new feeder. Um, it was able to do it, I think it was just hanging down too far so they could reach out over, reach out over this. And then they was able to grab the soot block here and all that. So I'm going to have to do a little bit redesigning and I will make this better than it was before. And there won't be anything to get to the soot blocks this time. So stay tuned and I'll show you what I'm going to do to fix this problem. Thanks a lot, Mr. Coon. Okay, so this is what it all looks like after I get it taken off the pole. That's just a flattened out piece of corrugated tin. And then that piece will sit there and then my bird feeder goes on top of all that. But I've got to figure out, <clears throat> fix the hangers for my soot block. And I think I'll replace this piece of tin with something a little bit bigger, maybe just a couple of inches uh, bigger in size and everything. So. Stay tuned, and we'll see how this all turns out. Hey everyone, Kevin again. So I got my plate made for this new bird feeder, and you can see it's quite a bit bigger than the old plate. It's about two inches around, all the way around wider than this one. So all I got to do here is I've got to cut, got to cut this hole out to match the size of this hole. And if you get to noticing, this has got some corrugation in it. When I do little projects like this, I try not to waste a lot of money on stuff. So I try to reuse whatever I can. Uh, once it's spray painted and at a distance, you really can't tell what's going on anyway. So this is a cut out piece of metal from an old metal door I had laying around. And just went ahead and left corrugation in it and we'll see how this works it should give us a whole lot more blocking room for the raccoons and the squirrels and next I'll fix this arm I'm probably going to shorten these arms up a little bit so they don't have a chance hanging out over my square piece of metal so stay tuned and we'll get everything fixed back up and it should be raccoon and squirrel proof for sure after I'm done bye bye Okay, everybody, just kind of give you an idea of what it'll look like when it's 100% finished. I've got my plates. I've got my new hangers up to where the soot block feeders won't be hanging over the edge or anything. Probably need to get me a new gazebo feeder because this one's really worn weathered. But, just give you an idea. Okay. So all I got to do is paint these, get them all matched and colored, and then I can put that on the pole that the actual feeders hang on. And hopefully this will deter the raccoons and squirrels from getting to the feeders from now on. Pretty simple, just some aluminum pipe that I had here and some angle brackets and stuff, so it didn't take too terribly long to get it. And I'll get her painted and hung up, and we'll see what the end product looks like. Check back later. Hey everybody, we're back and I've got the 
new hangers all painted and set up on the new pole for the uh, soot block holders. So this is what the end project looks like. So hopefully now this will be more of a hundred percent raccoon and squirrel proof. Now that everything's all bright and shiny, I may have to replace that old gazebo feeder with one that's actually clear and uh, paint's not faded on it. So it really don't take a whole lot, uh, just little odds and ends that I had around in the garage and was able to put together. And the soot block holders are really good and secure, so they'll, they'll last quite a while. So I hope everyone got a kick out of that and uh, stay tuned for more projects and some of our adventures from Missouri Clark Life. So from Missouri Clark Life, be safe, be strong, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Yeah, I think our birds will like this.